Hey guys, this is emix 77 aka Apple Soldier, who is here with another, or Apple Shape Guru, if you're on my tutorial channel. And I'm here with a, another tutorial, Final Cut Pro tutorial, and this is going to be a quick tip. A person asked me, he said, okay, um, I've got this clip here, and I only want to apply a filter to a certain part of the clip. I don't want to apply a filter to the whole clip. I just want to apply it to a certain part of my clip. And uh, there's several ways to do this. Um, if I, he, this is, for instance, I apply a desaturate filter to my first track. Okay. Now I load it into the uh, viewer here. You can see. that there's a little black mark right here okay now what that means is that's where the filter is going to take effect okay um, but we're not going to use this to control that so let me get rid of my desaturate filter so let's go about this an easier way. There's quite a few ways you can go about doing this instead of applying the desaturate filter, going into your viewer and messing with your little timeline up here. There's a few ways you can do that. And here's one way. Okay, as you can see, I have some text here and I want to desaturate the screen behind my text. So what I'm going to do is, what you'll have is these little selection icons here. These little auto select icons. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the auto selection button on my bottom clip and leave it on my text clip okay when I hit the X key it will throw an in and out point around that text okay um, if my auto selection tool would have been off here and been on down here it would have put in and out points around this clip okay so now that I've turned my auto selection off there and turned it on here hit my X button that set an in and out point around my text so now what I'm going to do is turn off the auto select and turn it back on on the first clip now you can see just this little portion from here to here is highlighted now all I have to do is go to effects video filters desaturate and now as you can see the video is desaturated but it's only desaturated in that selection that we selected. And that's a pretty good example of how these little auto select buttons work. But let me go ahead by hitting um, option O and I and clear my in and out points. Let me show you an easier way to do this. There's just a uh, little known little tool over here that nobody hardly ever uses and it's really handy. And you can get to it by going here and clicking this little tool button here and going to this last one. or just hit GGG -G -G real fast. And what this is, is this is the range select. Now I can go in here. You can see I get this little black mark right there in my timeline. I can go down here to the beginning of my clip, click and drag, and as you can see, I'm just selecting a certain range that I want. Okay? Now I've got that range selected. I can go to effects, video filters, desaturate, and it's just going to apply the desaturate filter to that portion of the clip that I selected with my range select tool. Now, once again, like I showed you in the beginning, up here we have our little markers. Okay, as you can see, here's the range selection that I did. If I want to make the, um, if I want to change the length, say I selected this range and I desaturated it, and then a few minutes later I said, oh shoot. I desaturated just a little bit too much or I need just a little bit more desaturated all you do is go up here if you want more of it or less of it desaturated I can grab the end here this little black bar and I can drag it out which makes my effect last longer or I can shrink it down now as you can see the the desaturate effect is shorter so there's three ways of controlling and selecting a certain part of your clip and only applying the, only ap applying an effect to that certain part of the clip instead of applying it to the whole clip. I hope this makes sense and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.